Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 200. What is C3 deficiency? C3, as we mentioned earlier, is normally very abundant in the plasma. It's used in both alternative and classic pathway. So if you're deficient in C3, this would lead to a lot of problems downstream in the formation of the membrane attack complex. And because of all this, it will lead to severe recurrent pyogenic sinus and respiratory tract infection. Deficiency of C3 will also increase the susceptibility to type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. What would be the consequence in C5 to C9 deficiencies? As we know from earlier, C5 to C9 is needed to make up the membrane attack complex. So when this is not able to happen, it would lead to recurrent Neisseria bacteremia. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com. Dot com.